Baby boy, baby boy, baby boy, baby boy, baby boy. I'm taking a trip back to Baton Rouge. Money like the Grinch, but I feel like Scrooge. Yeah, I'm talking about the Grinch, yeah. Money like the Grinch, but I feel like Scrooge. Yeah, I'm talking about the Grinch, but I feel like Scrooge. Yeah, so don't fuck it up. But What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ray, aka Tukoski, aka Pretty Ricky. <laughs> ah. Okay. And today it's moving day. You dig what I'm saying? So I might be a little bit behind on posting just because I am moving. So y'all bear with me. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Like I said in the previous video, I appreciate all the love and support and all the comments, whatever the case may be. If you're sharing it with your people, you know what I'm saying. I appreciate that. I didn't expect that much traction out of y'all. I didn't expect that much. You know what I'm saying? Out of y'all at all. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? It from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. I appreciate y'all. More to come, more in store for the future. Everything like that. I love y'all. Like I said, let's get the ball rolling. You did. I just know that you are free. I wonder how she act when I'm in that pussy act. I wonder how she act. I call her Wonder Woman. Ah! Let's get back to business. Alright gang, so we just got to the crib, about to unload the car, put everything in its respective places, head back to the apartment, and then call it a night until tomorrow. And hopefully, 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 hopefully we'll be done before Monday. A few moments later. It's day two and we're pretty much done with moving out the place. And let me tell you, I chose the wrong shoes to be wearing during this whole process. Your boy got the Crocs on in sports mode. And they fucking hurt. Like, my toes are screaming. That's enough complaining. Let's get back to business. I'm on my way to the new joint to drop some stuff off. Once we done doing that, go back to the old crib, pick up some more shit, and then by the end of the day, we should be done. Just like yesterday, I hope everything goes smoothly. No bumps in the road or nothing like that. Now, if you're anything like me, don't like to move. But like, I'm trying to get this shit done as quickly as possible. Get it out the way, get the job done, and move on about your business. Lay in your comfortable bed after you're done. Have a nice little meal and all that, all that. All right, so it's the end of day two. We didn't get everything moved like we planned, but we got a majority of everything that we wanted to out of the old apartment. Hey, yo, what's good? It's Tuesday. I just got off work. No, we haven't finished moving. Since that's the case, I'm gonna end the video. But before we end the video, I'm gonna get back to the crib and give y'all a little story time on why we decided to move. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, for showing love. We are also closing in on 50 subscribers. Might not be a lot to y'all, but it's a lot to me. So I appreciate it. If you got this far in the video, make sure y'all drop a lightning bolt down in the comment section. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you don't wanna miss nothing. I appreciate y'all as always, like I said, and I'm about to go home. Let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna keep it a whole stack with y'all. It took me a couple of days to record this, but it's story time. So I'm gonna get to the nitty gritty. One day, my dog decides to piss on the floor. I clean up the piss with a wad of tissue because I somehow don't realize that I ran out of paper towels. After I'm done cleaning up this piss, what does my dumb ass do? I go to take this whole wad of tissue and put it in the toilet. I flush it, it instantly clogs. My first reaction was to hit up my landlord and let him know that the toilet was clogged and I needed some assistance. And I also hit my roommate up to let him know that we potentially weren't gonna be able to piss in our own bathroom. I then continue to hit up my landlord and ask him what we should do next. He then expresses to me and lets me know that I'm the one that needs to come out of pocket to take care of the plumbing situation. Next day rolls around and I decide not to hit him up. I call around and nobody answers or 
plumbers are unavailable until the next week and we don't need no delays or anything like that trying to get a plumber. So I let the landlord know we can't get anybody. I tell my roommate the same conversation. He highlights areas in the lease where it says that the landlord is supposed to take care of this maintenance situations, a whole nine yards. I send this highlighted information to the landlord. Then this landlord claps back and asks me in the most attitudish way possible why I sent him the lease. He also had the nerves to ask me if I wanted to renew my lease. I don't give him a straight answer right away. I ask my roommate, hey yo, do you want to renew the lease? He says no. I tell the landlord this information. I don't hear anything from him. So there you go. This story time probably wasn't as exciting as you thought it would have been, but it is what it is. But like I said in the earlier parts of the video, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. Continue showing love. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your family. We're gonna keep it pushing, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of late right now. Didn't record it in the daytime like I was supposed to. So the energy ain't as charismatic as you were supposed to be. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed one. Catch you in the next video. Peace.